Hey guys, I wanted to make a quick video here checking out the PlayStation 4's UI. I know a lot of you have been asking me about this, so here it is. When you boot up your PlayStation, this is what it's going to look like. You can see you've got big icons for your games and your apps like the web browser. You can see it's definitely game focused. The first thing you're going to see is your games and that's pretty awesome. If you go all the way to the left, well, the, just before what's new, you've got your last played game. So that was Call of Duty Ghost for me. All the way to the left, you've got what's new. And this is going to be populated by what you've been playing, what your friends have been playing, whether they've posted any videos, whether they've unlocked any trophies. This is where you're going to see it. Now, I don't have many friends with the PlayStation 4 right now, considering it's brand new. So all you're seeing right now is my stuff. So you can see I play Call of Duty Ghosts, I play Ghosts, I play Resogun. And you've also got some stuff here from PlayStation. Some of these are actually videos. So if you click into this, for example, because it's going to load up this video from PlayStation, you can like it. You can see how many people have liked it. You can make this full screen. You can pause it. I think, yeah, square is full screen. You can uh, rewind and fast forward. We'll get out of that because that's kind of loud. And yeah, so you can see definitely the focus here is on your games. And if you go actually into your, well, not into it, because if you press X now, it will start the game. But if you press down on the controller, you get a little bit more information. For example, how much uh, space it's taken up. You can see some news here, your recent activities and related news as well. Yeah, you can see here, what else do we have? TV and videos. So this is just stuff like Amazon, Netflix, all this stuff that I really, really don't use. So that's sitting there. Music Unlimited is Sony's own kind of, you know, music. You can get songs, stream music and all that stuff. It is a paid service, but I don't use it. Library is basically what you've downloaded from the Play, St the Play Store, from what you've downloaded from the PlayStation Store. You can see I've got Resogun and Contrast. And yeah, live from PlayStation is actually kind of cool. This is where you can go see everyone that's broadcasting from their PlayStation Live. So if we click into this, you can see on the left, we've got Search Live Interactive. Interactive, I don't actually know what it is right now. That isn't active, nothing, nobody's using that, so I'm not sure when that will become available, but you can see there's no broadcast. You've got Twitch and Ustream, but if we go to live, this just shows you what everyone's doing. I actually really like this feature because let's say, for example, you're not sure if you want to buy a game. You can come here and pretty much find any game and see what it's like on the PlayStation 4, see what people are thinking about it and all this sort of stuff. So you can see all the different games here, all the people playing different stuff. We'll just load up this stream. Can hear this guy's talking now I can quickly hit start this game and it will load up my game because I have it I can enter a comment you can see the stream quality isn't great right now but it does get better depending on your bandwidth we can uh, full screen this and yeah you can actually just watch him play the game which is pretty awesome you can see this interact button here which isn't lit up right now not sure what that's gonna do you can see the comments coming in on his screen you can enter a comment here if you really want to. So let's just see if we can open up another stream here and see if we can get someone actually like streaming gameplay. Uh, we'll try Battlefield. Battlefield 4 on next generation is awesome. It just is a next level compared to the three, the uh, Xbox 360 and the PS3. And here it is. So let's make this full screen. Stream quality will get better. You can see he doesn't have a full screen view and this is actually what he sees while streaming. You can see the comments on the bottom coming through in real time. You've got his face on the right. You've got how many people are viewing, how many people are commenting. It's pretty awesome. You could watch someone who is really good or maybe you just want to watch someone for a bit because you are kind of want to see how they do the level. Yeah, this gives you the ability to do that. So let's get out of this, see what else we got here. Now, pressing up from anywhere on this kind of main menu gives you something similar to what we had on the PS3, the XMB. On the left, you've got the PlayStation Store, notifications, friends, messages, party, profile, trophies, settings, and power. If you dive into notifications here, you've got all your notifications, invitations, game alerts. I don't really know what game alerts are. Downloads, and basically this is kind of if you know Battlefield or Contrast release a patch it'll download it and update it for you. You don't have to press anything, it just does it all for you. You've got uploads in case you want to share, you share a, a, you know, a video to Facebook or anything like that. What's really great about this is just how fast and fluid it is and it multitasks like an absolute beast. So let's dive into Resogun here. Now on the PlayStation 3, you could go back to the XMB, but it sucked hard. You had to quit the game every time you had to do something. If I press the PS button right now while it's loading, you can see it sends me straight back out here and I can pretty much do everything. Obviously, no, I can't load another game, but let's say I want to watch something here for a bit because it's taking a while to load. You can do that. It's not going to kick you out the game. It's still loading your game in the background. Which, and let's actually load up a feed here and you'll see that it does actually work. 
And there we go, it's loaded and it works fine and the game is still loading in the background. So let's say I press the PS button now, I can go back into it. You can see that little kind of animation at the bottom there, I can go back into it, my game's loaded, I can continue. Let's actually start a game here and I'll show you that it does work in game as well as just loading. So it's loading here, I can uh, kick out of this. I could go into the web browser for all I wanted to and load up a website, check out some news, go to YouTube. It doesn't support um, Flash, but it does have HTML5, so YouTube does work on it. Again, I can just go back out here, go back into Resogun, it's ready to go. I can hit continue and start playing my game. Resogun, by the way, if you've got a PS4, is pretty damn fun and it's quite an addictive game. But um, even while playing it now, if I press the PS button, it sends me straight out and I can do everything. I can dive into the settings here. It doesn't kick me out of the game. I can see what's going on with my devices. You can see all of that. It works really well. I can check out the video playback settings. You don't get kicked out of the game and that's what I really like. And again, just dive straight back into it and continue playing without any loading. Now, I'm sure some of you are interested with this share button. It has The PS4 controller has a dedicated share button. So if I click share right now, it pauses the gameplay, you can see upload video clip, upload screenshot or broadcast gameplay. And if you're signed to Twitch, you can press broadcast gameplay and it's gonna send your gameplay live on Twitch. You can upload a screenshot or you can upload a video clip. If you click video clip, you uh, will, you can see here, you can check out the videos. It was just showing me Resogun. It records 15 minutes of your gameplay all the time. So it's always recording the last 15 minutes. You can of course set it when you want that to start or you can just Double, I think it's a double or a long press the share button to actually quickly take a screenshot. I'm not going to go into that right now because I don't want to show you, but the share feature is pretty awesome. And it's something you can see already that from live on PlayStation, a lot of people are using. Now, I have the PlayStation camera. You won't be able to see that on the actual, your view, but I do have it. And that does mean it supports voice commands. Now, these aren't quite as robust as the Xbox One's voice commands. I probably won't use them, but they do work. And I'll show you that right now. PlayStation, you can see that little thing pops up and it gives you some commands that you can use. So you can say, I don't know, Call of Duty Ghosts, Killzone, The Playroom, Contrast, Back to Game, Back to Game. So you can see it does work pretty well. You can see I had to repeat myself once there, but you know, that's voice commands. That's just what they're like. I generally probably won't use voice commands too much. I don't think I'd use them on either console. It's just much quicker to me to use a controller, but that's me. But there you go. That was a quick demonstration of the voice commands. So there you go, guys. Now that really wasn't a quick look. It kind of went on a little bit longer than I thought, but yeah, we'll turn this off now by trying to use the voice commands. Let's see how this goes. PlayStation. Power. Turn PS4 off. Well, I didn't even get that right, but it turned it off. It was actually turn off PS4. But uh, yeah, it's, it's turning off. So there you go, guys. Let me know what you think. Peace out.